Hey YouTube, this is Sound the Prepper One. Um, we are we are so lucky to live in the United States. We live in a great country, a country of bounty. So much that it gets wasted. A lot of things get thrown away that doesn't need to be thrown away. Uh, people just throw it away and buy a new one. Just buy a new one. Now, granted, a lot of things that we buy, you can't fix them. They're made to break, which is sad. I wish we made more stuff in the United States. We make it so good, you know somebody's going to buy it. They're going to have it for a long time. But most things break, and, and that includes refrigerators, freezers, washing machines, dryers, anything, electronics, TVs. It's short term. A lot of things get thrown away. You know I'm a salvager, scavenger, and I'm I'm proud to tell you that. I hate when a good thing gets thrown away. Now, you know, scavenging and, and getting all these things is borderline hoarding if you don't store them properly. I know people that are hoarders. They store stuff and they don't store it properly. You got to store things properly so they last. And you got to store them organized so you know where something is so you can get it. It does you no good saying, yeah, I know I got that thing, but I can't find it. So I'm going to have to go to the store and buy one. I've heard people tell me that. So get organized. I have a lot of organized. You can see them right there. I would rather put my money into stuff to get me organized, file cabinets, plastic totes, uh, these cool little bins here, um, and then salvage stuff that is perfectly good, perfectly good. All the stuff you see in front of you, other than the plastic containers, was salvaged. I have probably two more five-gallon buckets slammed full of hardware stuff like this. Some came from contractors that just over time just get buckets some came from people uh, that bought a house and said I've thrown everything away this was left there I don't want any of this junk get it out of here you gotta do a little bit of work I have two hours into sorting this stuff out right here all that those are nails now some are rusty that's just surface rust that's not gonna affect that nail at all um, just I had to sort it out now granted some of the stuff was in little tiny containers um, that were plastic and they're falling apart but I have about two hours in sorting these this out I'm trying to sort the rest of this stuff out so I would rather take my money and spend 12 bucks probably now they're more than 12 bucks I'm gonna get back to the store and I'm gonna get three or four more of these because I got so much to sort out I'd rather spend money on where I can get these things organized so if I need something I can go to it um, I mean, I even found tiny little brass hinges, little brass hinges, all kinds of stuff. Uh, is it a pain sorting it out? It is, but it is well worth it because I can leave this here and come back in a day when I got 30 minutes and do some more sorting. Um, but if you had to go to the store and you needed one of these, you know, you could spend 49 cents, 39 cents, 59 cents, all kinds of stuff. Some of this stuff is expensive. So we throw too much away you know now if you're one of my buddies that you know you're too lazy to sort your stuff out and you call me and say hey come get this stuff man i've got to build up in my trailer my contractor trailer just come get it you guys don't sort this out you just keep throwing it in a five gallon bucket and you keep calling me but all the rest of you people look at how you store your stuff can you get it more organized so you don't have to waste time or money because you can find what you need and you can fix the job? As you know, I, I'm going to open an SHTF hardware store. I'm going to call it the SHTF hardware store. And that's why I'm saving every little thing. So if someone needs something, yes, I can be charitable. I can give it to them or I can trade it to them. Or you know what? I could be a capitalist. And I could say, you know what, bring some fresh tomatoes over, man. Or, you know, bring me some apples off your tree and we can do a trade. And that's perfectly okay because I am a capitalist. Now, if someone needs something and they have nothing to trade or they're so far in need, you know what? I'll be glad to help them out. Uh, you know, I might give them the sledgehammer and a, and, and a wedge or give them the splitting mall and say, hey, could you spend an hour splitting that wood over there for me? And then we'll call it even. So, I'm urging you, look at what you have stored. Is it stored properly? Is it stored where it's not going to get all damaged, rusted, destroyed? Is it stored where you can locate it and get the job done quick? 
I got a lot of sorting to do and this winter I'm hoping to get everything sorted out you know I sort it roughly and then uh, then from there I can sort it you know more specific but I, I put nails got nails bolts all kinds of little stuff big stuff trying to get it rough sorted then from rough sorted I can find a home for it um, and go from there so I'm urging you getting organized costs a little bit of money yeah you might have to buy some storage containers um, you might have to you know get what you you need but you know what in the long run you're gonna be more organized and guess what your mental health will improve if you look at your shop you look at your little storage building outside man that place is a mess I can't find nothing in it it also is not good for a fire if you keep things organized keep things where the combustible materials are more contained uh, it definitely will help you um, if you do have a problem electrical problem a fire of some sort now it's no guarantee <laughs> yes if you get a fire in the middle of the night it's gonna burn down but if you can keep things more organized uh, you can definitely get more accomplished so your goal coming up this week maybe you need to stop at the hardware store stop at Walmart Lowe's pick you up a few of these it's amazing after you get sorted out it's like you know what oh that's gonna work wonderful I can find what I want you know what the wife's probably gonna be happy too if she can find what she needs for a project so week coming up you got not a lot of money to invest into prepping this month or this week organization try that um, try to get organized and look for deals there's so much well I will rephrase that there's not so much I am seeing a huge decrease in stuff I can salvage because more people are trying to salvage it uh, more businesses are keeping things because you know they can't get replacements so it's harder now but it's still possible so whenever you can salvage something uh, salvaging it and putting it back is stockpiling it salvaging it and throwing it outside or throwing it in a building and not organizing it could be hoarding uh, I like to look at myself as a stockpiler not a hoarder thanks for watching